Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. So uh, I am Sri I will be going through uh, the steps on how to upload files to Informatica file transfer portal. So using Postman application. So this is, uh, uh, you can upload files using file transfer portal as well as you can upload files using Postman. So uh, you, ha you can upload uh, using this and some other applications also like SOAP user interface. So today we'll be going through um, how to upload files to Informatica file transfer portal normally. So where the HTTPS service is running on the managed file transfer. So how to create post requests and what all format and parameters are required to send the post request and uh, which domain and cookie you have to use when you are trying to upload a file to Informatica MFT and just verify whether the files which were uploaded were successfully uploaded or not. So all these things we will cover. So uh, there is a KB article document also. So you can just go through this for a more reference kind of. Mm. So yeah. Now we will start with the demo. So um, this is Informatica Managed File Transfer Portal. So if you see, uh, my HTTPS service is running. I will just log in. So my HTTPS service um, is running, if you can see here. So it has started. So I um, will go to Service Manager. So uh, if you see, um, it is running on 50076 port. So if you if you see this, uh, I have logged in here as a web user. So um, I log in again. So I will show you how to upload from file transfer portal. So you have to go to, once you log into the web user, uh, as a web user to file transfer portal, you should go to the secure folders and then you can click on upload and then you will be able to uh, go to SNS and you can, you, can, you can actually upload any of the files so I have, I have uploaded this file so these are the two files so now let me go to uh, the home page here it will show which are what all happened so the logging is there so if you see cmconfig2.xml was uploaded to such a I logged in and I uploaded. So the same thing I want to perform using the Postman application. So now I will open Postman application. So you can get this Postman application from online. So you can you will be able to get uh, once you just uh, try to get this Postman uh, from uh, it will be the first link I have shared. I will be sharing this uh, link in the uh, document KB also and if, if the, uh, in the comment section also so uh, yeah so you have to create a collection so once you create a collection informatica file transfer file upload so so this is what I have at this point. So once you go here, so I will close all the other tabs. So this is what I have. So you have to click on post. Because this will be the post. So uh, you are sending, you are sending requests to, requests to Informatica, uh, manage file terms of the HTTP service uh, to be specific. So I'll try. I'll access this particular URL. So the format is like this. So you have to use uh, slash portal slash login. So these are the two parameters uh, which will be which needs to be sent: username and password. So once you do this, I'll just do the send. So it will start saying, uh, okay. So I think the password. Which went to this one? Okay, um, I'll just check. 
so it's five double zero seven six so it's five double zero seven six So if you see here, uh, it says 200 welcome web 3 area underscore web. So I was able to log in successfully. So one main important thing we you have, which you have to do is you have to copy this J session ID because this will be useful in the next uh, upload upload when you actually upload the file. So how to upload the file? So again it's a post. So went to you have to use this particular option. So here, uh, the, you cannot just upload uh, the file directly because uh, the need of cookie is um, you need to understand that you have logged in. So if you if you try to send the file here, so for example, I'll do to log .txt. I'll give some file name transfer mode. binary and file I will choose a file so when I choose a file I can choose any kind of file so it doesn't matter which file I um, actually try to place so consider I am trying to put a put some Excel file so um, now when I try to click on send so you can see it is not logged in because it doesn't know um, which user is trying to upload the file so it needs to know somehow that this this user has uh, is trying to put the file so uh, this is possible only with the cookie so once you once you actually log into informatica file transfer portal also so there will be a cookie which gets generated and that cookie is uh, maintained so the scope is until you log out the cookie value is valid and then it will be invalid or at least for a time or period so if you don't try to access the file transfer portal for some time then the cookie will be expired and then again you have to log re -log. it's the same thing so here what you would get rid of this you can click on cookies here and uh, I'll delete, delete whatever we have you have to provide the domain name domain name is nothing but the server name so the place where Informatica MFT is installed so here I will give this ID so the parameter name is J session ID so I got a session ID it's a cookie and this was copied and then now I will try to use this so let me go to headers see you can see that it's called so in authorization it's not locked now if I try to send it so you can see file slash log dot txt was received successfully so if you want to check this you can go into the same place home and uh, or, or you can go to this particular uh, logs so you can see log dot txt was uploaded successfully so this is so this will be resided in this particular web user on its own folder so it has its own folder so it will be available so this is how you have to upload the files to automatic uh, FTP I mean the files uh, you can upload to the HTTPS service so yeah so yeah so thank you thanks a lot if you have any feedback you can uh, get back to Thank you.